everybody. We are the, the Knitters, Knitters Are Here. And we are here at the Scenic Ridge Guest House. Yes. In Butler, Ohio. Mm -hmm. And this is owned by Joanne. Do you Campanelli. Know okay, you know more information because you have been in touch with her. Should we start over or are we good? Uh, we're going to keep on rolling here because that's what we do when we're on a yarn knitting retreat. retreat. Sorry, I was going to call it I yarn. I didn't know what we were talking about. I didn't about. either. We're just going to throw it out there because... Is it a knitting retreat or is it a yarn retreat? Obviously, it's got to be a knitting retreat because we're not going and buying yarn. You're we're right. actually coming to sit and knit. And eat. drink coffee. And eat. And drink wine. Of stuff. And eat. Yeah. Whatever and, we and want and to do. Yeah. And eat. Yeah. Except for napping. I you know, I really could use a nap, but if I take a nap, then I won't be knitting and then I'll feel guilty. But you'll dream of knitting. <laughs> Maybe. Knitting or ghosts? No. Hopefully not ghosts. This is an old converted no, I shouldn't say old converted. Back on but track. this used to be an Amish home. Um and then it was bought by Joy and their husband and they redid it first class. It's oh, beautiful. Yes. Has seven, count them, seven bedrooms. Yes. Okay. There's you know, so many. Very empty other spaces. Up here is gorgeous. gorgeous. We gorgeous. have gorgeous. the full run of the first two, the two floors. Right. It has a wraparound porch. It is literally on a ridge top, scenic yeah. ridge. Horses in the next field. Horses There's over there. There's a deck on the second floor and it, on the basement level in the back, it's that's open. You see that from the back. You don't see it from the front. And there's a patio a and fire ring. a fire uh, in the yard. There's a fire ring and. Um, and Jen and I watched the sunrise this morning with our coffee, and I was wearing all the knits to keep warm. Zero. I cold. slept. Yeah. There was no sound other than yeah. pure nature. We listened for it, and yeah. we heard dogs. We heard roosters. Chickens. Birds. I heard the horse neighing. Yeah. yeah. We got and then see. we heard knitting needles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, we've been here less than 24 hours and are just having a blast. And, and are planning our next time to come back. Yes. Yes. So if you live in the general area or want to travel to Ohio, I highly recommend this place, the Scenic Ridge Guest House. It was recommended to us by Kim down at the Makery in Mount Vernon. That's how we discovered this, and we're so glad we took her advice. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Allison and I journeyed out here after visiting her one day, and gosh, dirt road after dirt road after Amish buggy. We weren't quite sure if we were heading the right direction. <laughs> and, and um, Joanne met us at the end of the driveway when we, or no, she met us here, but we drove back because you cannot see the place from the road no. at all. So talk about unplugging. If there wasn't this sign, you wouldn't know to no. turn. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and there's yeah. no Wi-Fi. No Wi-Fi, no TV. Mm -hmm. There's a TV for VCR and... In the basement. Yeah, or a DV DVDs yeah. in the basement. Yeah. But we do emergency rally inspections with a iPhone hotspot. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we know so we get no there's, there's a good Verizon signal, mm -hmm. so you can look up things on you know your phone, laptop, whatever, if, yeah. as long as you um, can connect into that. Right. So we're enjoying it, and we have brought some things to show you to see what we've been up to. Yeah. I say we haven't done this type of podcast for a while, so we may have a few things. And this is episode 18. Ooh. So we're getting close to number 20 eventually. So, okay. All right. How are we going to start? On your end. Okay. With what? Finished objects? Wearing? Sure. Or finished objects. Finished objects. I don't have a wearing. I don't have a wearing uh, either. Okay. okay. Well, what do you this... mean? You're wearing something that you knit? What? <laughs> what? That's just a weird concept. I never okay, so what you do, you're wearing and you're finished objects. Okay. Yeah. So this is, I wore it when we went to the makery in the summer because it was my most recent finish, but it was nice and autumnal. So I thought, why not wear it? Um, this is the Mayma by Pippin Pin. So, and then I used the wool. Mayma? Mayma. Oh, don't ask me to spell it, but I think it is M-A-E-M-A. -E -M -A. But a lot of people know about it. Um, but the wool is from um, Heidi and Lana. Mm. So local dyer. Um, I have been attempting socks, and please just don't look at any of these folks. Just focus on me. I hear. <laughs> I hear everybody. So, yes, I am trying socks because, you know, 2020 is a year for crazy things. Ignore them. And, no, these are not for the Jolly Green Giant <laughs> or Sasquatch. <laughs> Suck it, ladies. <laughs> this was my first 
first attempted socks. Now granted, I have size 11 feet, so I have substantially large toes, feet, heels, everything, whatever. <laughs> They're not that big. But when you hold them like that, they look so long. That like, Christmas and, and I've been a good be, girl and want a lot of food and, and she sends us a picture and says I have Sasquatch feet <laughs> I, I think so. the, the memes that we kept sending her <laughs> and I, I love they love me I felt I the love that night I am crying <laughs> <laughs> we love did I let Jen. that stop me no. no I will make a pair of socks that work <laughs> But just know that when That's you make up. something, we like to have good humor That's right. in everything that we do, and that's why we love it. So, on and had she not, not said, oh my god, I have Sasquatch feet, we would have been like, oh, that was wonderful. You we would have not have. You would have told would have us are gigantic. We no, we would have said that between ourselves. We would have said it to you. Yeah. separate chat room. Yeah. Yeah. So, what did you make them from? Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about bringing that. Um, this is yarn that I won um, from the podcast Two Pearls in a Pod. So I will try Ooh. to add it to the show um, notes. And that is the notes. colors too. So yes, yeah, so this was um, from one of their giveaways that they had and I think it's a local dyer to Elmore, Ohio. Okay. So wow. I will um, have more information and... Um, and you too can <laughs> Yes, you too. And there's Can't plenty make. left over still, but you know, oh, me getting two pairs of socks out of one skein of fingering, probably not gonna happen. <laughs> oh, now see, when I read that, I thought you said, you know how people get a full pair of socks out of one skein? Oh. That's not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, wow. Yeah. Okay, so uh -huh. it was two pairs. Yeah, no. if you get the short, oh. if you make short. If you make short. Oh, okay, sure. yeah. gotcha, gotcha, okay. Yeah. So, so Cheryl and Becky, if you have more information about this dyer before I get to it, please feel free to comment below about that. Um, but super soft yarn, really comfortable. Did I'm it require one or two skeins to make that pair? <laughs> My mama told me if I have nothing nice to say, not to say anything at all, and I've already told you to suck it once, so I can't say it again. <laughs> and we have not had wine today. We had it last <laughs> night. Oh. <laughs> today, yeah. And it's like, what, quarter to one in the afternoon? Okay. So, yeah, it is? Yeah. What? I know, time's flying. Anyways. So, and this is what started my motivation for making socks. Um, last year, I traveled and found this church house, uh, church mouse yarn pattern. Sorry for all the holes, my cat likes plastic and she chews it. So I thought, okay, I'll play around with it. So I took some scraps and just started uh, making these slipper socks because I do have a pair of um, clogs like that. I do like to wear to school and I thought it would be fun to wear them. So this is some self-striping yarn that I had. And then this is a little mini. I thought it would go further, but you know, with my feet, it won't go further. Um, but this is by, this is Acadia. Oh my goodness, I, I'm terrible with names now. Uh, the National Park Series. Mm. You know who? Destinations? Mm -hmm. No, uh -oh. they're uh -oh. out of um, the West Coast. Um, ancient Iron? No, know. not Ancient Arts. We'll get it to knitted, you. Knitted with Knitted with Knitted with yeah, So that's Acadia colorway. Oh, that's great. Um, so it's like, it's kind of just that pop of fun. So got the little black roll that you can see on the top of the, the um, whatever the shoe's called. And then I did finish Whoa. my shifty. Nice. So this was not supposed to be done in worsted. I love it. And I love these it was colors. my first like go rogue on purpose because whenever I knit anything, I go rogue because I don't follow directions well. So this is one I intentionally went rogue on. And I think it turned out okay. I probably should have cut off from my arm holes maybe an inch higher than they are. But as long as I don't point for directions, no one will see that they're dolman sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not it's that bad. Yeah, but this is wool that, this is shepherd's wool that I bought from um, it's nice and soft. the makery. Yes, it turned out really nice. It is lovely and soft. Um, it's it's cozy, I, I like it. So I enjoyed doing, I was gonna use this to make the night shift. 
And then as I started knitting it, I realized this is gonna be a giant shawl and it'll take just as long to make a sweater. I'm gonna make a sweater out of it. I'm gonna do the shifty. Oh, it's not worth it. Oh, well, here we go. Let's give it a try. <laughs> so I'm actually pleased how that turned out. And I'd say, check out my show notes or my Ravelry notes, but I don't have Ravelry notes. So. You know, I, I just dawned on me that I'm standing. Yeah. And, you're and it looks like I'm sitting. There you go. <laughs> I have the same issue, so you know it's all good. If I stand the whole time, I'll actually look like the tallest person here. No, 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 no. no. Okay, yep. done. Thing. Next. Those are your yeah. FOs. I have no FOs that I brought. Okay. I have no FOs. We were limited in what we could bring. Oh, yeah, because the got plenty is very small. Yeah. I've got no FOs. <laughs> okay, so I do have some FOs. Sit back, grab a cup of coffee. Here we go. The first one, this is the Pangera pullover, meant to be a boxy. And it's made okay. out of uh, the Cascade Pim of Fine Cotton, which I will never use again because I didn't like it, and the Bamboo Pop. So, how'd you like the Bamboo Pop? Bamboo. I like, I like Bamboo Pop uh, a lot. But um, I did learn that color work in cotton is not very forgiving because when you catch your floats, it tends to distort and not, mm. you know, not bounce back as easily as a wool. And I also realized that I don't like the boxy shape because when it's on me, it droops down at the sides and I don't like that. So this is going to go away. But is it so that's the Pangera pullover. There's that one. Well, it turned out really nice. And it's, it's really pretty. Do you have someone in mind that you're... No. Okay. It's up for grabs. What about your daughter? Would she wear something like that? I don't know. Because it would look cute with like a linen dress or... High waisted pants, which I don't wear either. So, and next up, this is Art Nuovo. Nuova. Oh, this is done in Bamboo Pop from the Makery. Um, and I actually followed the. <laughs> That's what she's saying. I followed the design element on the shoulder and the color work from the pattern, but actually. Uh, fitting wise, I did the Chanteuse pattern from Mary Annarella, who's my favorite designer. So. Okay. I've been knitting a lot during shutdown. <laughs> this is some. <laughs> this green is some gift yarn from Jennifer of uh, discontinued uh, yarn uh, from Classic Elite called. Uh, cotton bamboo and the pattern is from an old Sandra knitting trends magazine it's so pretty she had it on earlier this morning and it's just lovely so that was kind of fun I seem to be on a cotton kick because I've never used cotton before oh it's on the back too so I'm wearing <laughs> I'm wearing aerial view Aerial View, um, which is Irina Anakiva, and this one is done in the Universal Bamboo Pop from uh, Longtail Knits Very in Macedonia. Nice. It's a nice fit, too. Yes. It's, a, it's a lovely silver color. color. Mm -hmm. I like the color. Mm -hmm. And was that worked in the round? Yes, because of, yeah. because of the lace panel sides. This is a finished object from last night. Last night. Last night. She uh, started it yesterday morning and finished, no. Uh, <laughs> it's called Rustic Zen. Um, I've forgotten which magazine it's from. I will put it in the post notes. It's like from Interweave or one of those. But it's kind of this uh, kind of bohu, hippie-like, <laughs> hippie-like thing. <laughs> really nice. The colors it are great. Nice. And if you do decide to do it, the pattern is really awful and I'd advise you go to my Ravelry notes and, and do some modifications. And you really downsized the sleeve, right? Yeah, the sleeves were down like this. So this is done in, in stash yarn, which was mostly um, the, oh now I've forgotten what it is, the Donegal Tweed, um, I think it's Daisy Charles. And is that oh, bulky Charles. or chunky? Pardon? Is it bulky or chunky? It's chunky. chunky. In fact, they they say worsted on the pattern, but if you make it out of worsted, 
it's too flimsy because actually the red I used there is worsted and I ended up going down two needle sizes and up 15% in stitches to make it more um, firm. So this little thing. Oh my gosh, oh. cuteness overload. Um, I saw a pattern that I liked but didn't I didn't like the way it was done, so I just did it myself. So this is actually my own pattern um, for this little jacket. I call it River's Jacket. And it is done in the Sirdar Alpine Lux Fur Effect yarn. This is also from Long Tail Knits. Did you see the buttons on that? And then the gray is the Sirdar number one double knitting. So this is totally washable. And you can see I put little eyelets, like mock eye, mock cable of it. And this was really fun. But you could basically use any kid's pattern and see how many stitches they had at the bodice. Um, you could double that for the bottom part and put the fur on. And then when you get to the bodice here, you could purl two together and knit two together to decrease it. Or as I did, I only put a third more on. So then I knit one, knit two together, knit one, knit two together. So you could do that. If you want this exact pattern, which is for a size, about for a size three, you could get that with the yarn from Long Tail Knits. That's pretty cool that you were published. You see that. And this is what I made for the little girl's bunny rabbit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> stuffed bunny rabbit. Stuffed bunny rabbit. So her stuffed bunny rabbit will have a sort of matching little outfit. Too cute. And did you enjoy the whole pattern development process? I did, actually. It was kind of fun. <clears throat> would you do it again? I would. But I'm not a professional pattern writer, so if you go and you get the pattern in the wool from Long Tail Knits and you find errors, let me know. There you go. <laughs> cool. All right. Thank you. Now, does she let you know when the pattern sells so that you can kind of get a feel? Oh, the pattern's free. Oh, oh okay. The pattern's free with the... With the purchase. With the purchase. And after Christmas, I'll put it free on Ravelry. Um, so. Nice. Yeah. Finished objects. Let me get um, out of your way here. I have a bulky, chunky, stash busting winter hat. I don't know what the pattern was. But I was cranking these out when we were in Columbus. So I made an adult and a youth. And it's really fuzzy and thick and warm. Yeah, it's just a chunky. So I mean, there's nothing really special about it. And the yarn comes in those colors. It's yeah, it's, it's just, just automatically does the striping on its own. So. Let me be your hand. Um, the other finished objects I have are the little booties with the buttons. Oh, these are so cute. I don't know what the pattern is for this either. What did you make it from? <laughs> this is from Knit Picks. Um, it's just a... Little... We promise to be more organized like Allison next time. It's just yeah. we're a little rusty. I'm sorry, that's <laughs> never going to happen. I can't be that organized. Because here's some mitts. And I don't know what the pattern is for that either. But she's been busy. A one by one rib for an inch and a half. Yeah. Continue. <laughs> I didn't pay for this pattern. <laughs> And then I've been making these little bonnets for the shop. So they're these. Yeah, bonnets. And the shop is? Yes, peacocks and pearls. So I made several of them in different colors. And it's, um, I actually have the pattern to this one. What is it? Debutante? Debutante. So. I think I've ever seen the word debutante written. Really? I mean, I know what it is. And the last thing of my finished objects, which is also my whip, because I'm making this in the whip, these little sweaters. I think these are so cute. Got a green they one. They are adorable. And a little brown one. And they feel like they'd be really warm. So this pattern for the little sweater also in is called Wee Bean. Oh. It doesn't have the designer name on there, so we'll put it in the show notes. But 
those are my only finished objects. There you go. Sort of knitting, but not really for me, for the shop, so. Yeah, that's what I got. Okay, Yay. there you go. All right. All right, so let's see, I'm all, whoops. Kerfluffled over here, all right. So, kerfluffled? kerfluffled. <laughs> I haven't seen that written either. No, I don't know if that <laughs> can be written. I have started again, I did bring this pattern, the Bennett Sister Shawl. So, I don't know if we really need to show that. But, let's see here. Let me pull out because I can't remember what this one is. I feel like I'm Lindsay Fowler. No. So, this, oh yeah, created for you by Laura. When we went yes. down to oh. um, Mount Vernon, the trunk show. So, I haven't gotten much further than the Lady Salt the last time, but this is called. Um, I don't know, Tino, Wada, I don't know, Oxblood, Redwood, but it's the Sassy Stash, but I bought two to go with the mohair that I got from um, Chelsea Lux, so it went together oh, quite well. Yes. Yeah. So the second half of this shawl is done with the mohair and the fingering, so that goes Terracotta. together. Terracotta. 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 That says, oh, it looks like a W. It does. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Terracotta. Terracotta. All right. There we go. So Note to self, if you ever write right anything way. on the cards, print legibly. There you go. Okay. But um, that's just, it's. I haven't pulled this out in a while since I started my endeavor with the socks. So this is always just sitting there ready to go. But what was interesting is we were at the makery and Jen picks up this, because I think this would go with that mohair I bought. And I would never do that because I could never remember the color well enough and these just go perfectly. Yeah, it was it was a nice, nice blend on that. And then these socks I am working on, um, once again, I think this is stash yarn, the gray, and then this is... Wolfpack? No, I just got it from Cast On. Oh, okay. It's Kaigu, the name of a yarn? Mm. Koigu? Koigu, that's Koigu. what it is, yes. And so she had this going on for the Discovery Yarn um, sale. So I went ahead and picked up a skein just to give it a try. However, with my huge feet, I think they'll end up being shorties. So I was going to ask if you intended on making those regular full socks yeah. or just nubbins that'll fit across your toes. So I started this one last night and then got it. And I thought I need to do it two at a time or it's not going to happen. So I went ahead and cast it on. I'm almost ready to transfer it over to the... Um, circulars so that I can just magic loop magic loop them up and be finished with them and oh so let lopey my first experience with let lopey um, I'm making the weatherman I bought this kit mm, during this. COVID now mind you this yarn the like the picture. colors of the yarn are just right up my alley they're gorgeous yeah. but if you've used let lopey you know what I'm talking about. Um, I mean, talk about farming. <laughs> I think the more I work with it, the more it feels less scratchy, but it could just be that my hands are becoming calloused and worn down. Okay, it. name because it's kind of hard to understand what she's saying. <laughs> but the yeah. colorways are just numbers. So this is like 56, this is 85. Um, but I loved the sweater and I understand that this is the type of wool that you wear on the outside of a garment. This is more of in place of a coat versus something you would wear on your skin. I mean, even last night when I was knitting, um, like I had leggings on and it was poking me through the leggings. Oh dear. <laughs> oh my, oh dear. <laughs> yeah, so this will be for, you know, cause 2020, you know, the winter's just gonna be insane because why not? It's 2020, right? Yes. But it's fun. I haven't done color work in a while. And right now I'm at the point where I don't need to think about what I'm doing on the body. And I keep asking myself, why am I knitting something? I'm not sure I'm gonna like, but darn it, I bought the yarn anyway, and what else am I gonna do Ooh. with it? Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe I could make mittens and wash them, I don't know, pelt them. But that would be against your skin. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with it. It's my first Nordic sweater, I guess. I mean, I have done some Nordic patterns. And you can wear a turtleneck under it. Yeah. And, um, and if probably you a rash it, guard under that. I'll wear it. <laughs> 
but and then I started the encar en escarpment, but then I'm not going to go any further on that because I'm going to let Darcy talk about, uh, no, Crystal, you're the one that brought it up. I'm going to let Crystal bring oh, that up yeah. because I'm going to change my mind on that. And I think that's it for now. I think I have another pair of socks in there that are ending up too big. But like I said, those first two pair, I'm just practicing the heels because heels mm -hmm. scare me. And this pair That's of socks doing. has literally been on my needles for six years. I tried them so many eyes here. So I tried them so many years ago and um, I, I've got the, and I'm not going to say it right. It's either fish lips kiss or fish kiss lips. I'm not sure fish the or kiss, kiss lips. lips. So I do have that pattern. I made my little cardboard cutout. Yes, this is the actual size of my foot. So, um, <laughs> These are my heel practicing socks, and I do have this one done, and it's less large. Oh, wait a minute, sorry. <laughs> it's less large, but it's still pretty big. I have big feet, people. Big feet. Okay, done. Deal with it, right? Moving yeah. on. Now it's all you, Crystal. Go. Whips. Okay. Ever ending Novelli, but I am at the point where I am getting ready to bind off the first sleeve. Yay! Yay! Which means I only have like four and a, four and a quarter more inches of knitting on this side and then bind it off. Show it off. Yay. But, Show it off. Oh my gosh. And somebody told her when she was knitting this that it looked like the painting the water lilies, which it does. Oh. So, yes, I am thrilled with it. I tried it on. I think it's actually going to fit. <laughs> you knit clothes. <laughs> I knit clothes. Uh -huh. I'm really excited about it. I, I'm, I'm loving it. There's a few things I'll have to, you know, just stitched together when I finish it and you know, we bend in things, but I think that's normal. So yeah, it's all good. Yeah. yeah so my other good. only whip is when I, you know, have to take a break from Novelli is this scarf that I, it's acrylic and it's a, it's long. Yeah. Yeah. It's hey, from the is this just red heart soft? roll with it. <laughs> We're going to yeah. pause the video right now because I'm going to take Roll my size it. one needles and poke them in her what? eyes. Jen made a sock! <laughs> no, Crystal made a sock. Oh, but it's for Jen's foot! Yeah, it's for Jen. Oops, yeah. I have it wrong way around. Yeah. Mm. And there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I finished one skein already and it says it's a two skein project and I'm like, did you do all of Yeah. So, it's like a Sherlock Holmes scarf. But then I'm Definitely. looking at it and it says it, you're supposed to knit for what 60 inches or something like that. But look how that's wrapped around so loosely. I think it's going to yeah, take it's gonna longer take, like, than 60 yeah. inches. So I'm going to do another foot because I'm about at another five feet. foot. <laughs> I told you this is Jen's saw. Seriously. And want to see how that looks. My feet. <laughs> <laughs> and then see how it looks. And then just kind of continue to knit from there and decide when we're gonna, when it's gonna finish. My it, my roommate picked out this yarn, so it's for her. So when she um, decides you've knit, when, when Ooh, she decides I've knit far enough, that's like Frank. I'm like, am I done yet? Am I done yet with yes. this scarf? And yes. he's like, well, I want it to be a little longer. Exactly. So, so what is it like going from these little needles to the to, chunky? Are those eights or nine? Nines. These are nines. Yeah. And what are you using on these? Fours. Fours. Yeah. Course. Big difference. Um, yeah, it is. It takes it's a, a little, little bit. Well, and then these are straights and this is circular, and so I have to like rethink for a second. How is it that you knit straight again? <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. I know. Okay. Well, in fact, when I started this, I think I sent them a message. Okay. I'm going to sound really stupid here, but how do you knit straight? <laughs> what side is Turn. it on? What side is it on? Did you? Yeah. It worked. I it did, worked. I did it. Yeah. I did it. Yep. You figured it so, out. Yes. But, so I think that's my only other whip. Oh, you know. Yes. <gasps> Whips. Um, I have a <laughs> bare start of a whip here <laughs> in my new acquisition. So this is another old magazine, but this one is the regular Sandra. And I am doing... Mm -hmm. This one. So this is in, I may as well tell you my acquisition. This is from Designing Woman. This is Lang Brand Yak, which is 50% yak and 50% merino. Um, and I got it on sale and we're not talking about how much it cost. Okay. No. 
but it's going to be it's very, cheaper than very special. That's right. That's mm -hmm. true. Okay. That's, That's me. True. And she yeah. literally just whipped that up about an hour ago. But it was it was <laughs> yeah. fun it was watching fun. you go through like the maths and uh -huh. trying to calculate it because it's a bottom up and now she's doing top. Yeah, end. it's bottom up, and I decided to do top down, but the pattern I had wasn't the same gauge, so. <laughs> We're changing. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. Oh, hearing really. you talk about how you do your conversions and how it's it's nothing more than like like some it's people like who rocket are rocket science. Yes, get me, out. Come it, on. It, but it does make me feel a little more brave when I look at a pattern mm -hmm. that I feel like I'm like, well, Allison knows because it. it's always maybe I could try it, but Allison will know how to. But fix did you it. also it, yeah. did you also hear me say I'm gonna try this? It may not work. Mm -hmm. Then I can do it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. But also, like the no fear to tear out and right. start over. I was starting to develop that no fear to tear out, but hanging out with you more is just like, well, Allison does this all the time. And it's the joy of knitting, finding mm -hmm. the joy yeah. in the knitting, not it's necessarily the process, it's in the process. The project, Which, yeah. being a Montessori teacher, I should really know that well because that's what we're all focused on. Right. It's, the, it's the process, not right. the product. Especially in these times. Yes. Right. right? It is good therapy. All right. With, so I'm working on another one of the Wee Bean cardigan. So pink one to go with the other ones for the shop. Ooh. What? Nothing. Oh, pink Sorry. side of it? Side no. bar. No. It's all right. You can pick up. Okay. No, 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 no. We no, were no, making no. a comment we're on a sweater. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, I didn't mean to. Um, and then the other whip I have, which I think will be forever a whip because it's aggravating that the side <laughs> seams don't match up to No, me. we're going to get that this week. <laughs> so I'm knitting a onesie. And Oops. they they don't. I don't, I don't think that's going to fit you. I it might get it over. Fit. It might be just. <laughs> it's a little flat for her toes to come through because it's still not long enough. <laughs> but no, I love them. Very cute. I love them. And I must say the pattern. I don't. I don't have the pattern with me, but it was a very odd. Written pattern. I think it was by Little French Knits, and I don't know if it was just translation. My brain not understanding the pattern, but like I think I cast on and ripped out five or six times because mm -hmm. the count would not come out correctly. And I looked on Ravelry on the notes, and other people were asking the exact same questions I was having. So I'm like, okay, well it's not me. I'm just it, I'm not grasping the way it's translated or something because it just didn't seem to make sense and then I didn't pay any attention it's not knitting around which kind of infuriated me because now I have to do side seaming and I hate seaming and then I know it has to accommodate a diaper but like the front panel is knit squared off and the back panel is knit rounded and how how how, how do you make those match to side seam I don't I we're gonna Does get it, it allow room for the diaper? Like yes, but I mean, you're talking about a rounded corner and a blunt corner, and you have to make them. I just it. But in a it's sewing, gonna be honky, and I don't. It's kind of infuriating to me. We will show a picture at the end of the result because Allison will make it work by the end of this weekend. I'm hoping that if I whine about it enough. That when I wake up tomorrow morning, the little elves will have magically seamed the edges for me, and I'll be done. Here we go. No, I won't do that. My last whip is my socks. Woohoo! Don't come Which I am almost finished with. So How can that possibly be? It's not nearly big enough. <laughs> Here is my sock. Hey, Dave. Could you come pick me up? I'm ready to leave. Yeah, I'll be waiting at the side of the road with my luggage. Yes, now. <laughs> Bitty feet. Crystal, when are we going to show our socks? Yes, where are your socks? I have some that I purchased. Me too. I can go up and get them. Okay? Yeah, we yeah. can go get we them. Can go get from. Them. I'm making socks, man. And the pattern I'm using is from a pattern off of YouTube from Mandarin. And um, so it's not a written pattern, it's just a verbal, and she puts like the directions on the screen. So I did a lot of pausing 
and writing it down to try to okay. come up with Oops. the exact yep, this way. dimensions and right, the way. count. So it's a heel flap it's pretty. sock and it's a slip slip the first stitch on every row. Heel flaps are fun though. Yeah, and it gives you that I've only done them in practice in a class. I've never actually made one. <laughs> yeah. Learn the technique. Yeah. That's the my... color is really nice. What is that yarn again? Well, it's the... from Cast On, right? This one is Little Posy. It's from Cast On. Okay. And then pretty. the other one is Sweet Georgia in this fuchsia, mm -hmm. which I was going to do the heels also and toes. Very pretty. So, yeah. That's my whip. And then my fun bag mm -hmm. that we got at Cast On. Yes. Nice canvassed bag but that's those are my whips okay. Okay. did you buy anything I was anything? I I kind of have but I haven't gotten some of them I subscribed to the uh, bare naked out of Canton um, barn Ooh. box so I have a feeling there's a chance it might be there when I get home. bare naked wolves yes right mm -hmm. and it's a <laughs> I did leave that important part out. Yeah, she just said bare naked. That was a like, softball that just what? like. Yeah. yeah. So tempting. Bare naked wool. Wool. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And Hanson. And um, so I should get that coming up soon. What's funny is now I'm starting to think there was a box sitting next to the door, but I could have sworn it had Dave's name on it. Really hoping that wasn't it. You I should call him right now and ask. That really is my box sitting there. <laughs> you didn't get it? But it was, it was small, but I guess maybe I'm thinking I'm gonna get this cute little barn box, but that's just the name of the um, subscription. So it's a bi-monthly subscription and it's n not a commitment, so you can keep Cancel the subscription at any as time. Okay. So I figured since we're not doing all of these festivals that we had planned right. throughout the summer and fall, that why not? And right. then I also signed up, I've never done an advent calendar. I really mm -hmm. wanna do one. So I did, um, sign up for one of those that is through um, Heidi and Lana is that with Ooh. minis or something yes yeah and stitch markers and stuff like that mm. so it's my first one and Heidi and Lana is also a local yarn dyer which I mentioned with this and I was just thinking with this for my sock this would be the <laughs> and this is <with> my toe <laughs> here in Ohio has started it's all throughout September and um, so I, I purchased the passport and went over to my local yarn shop which is black locust yarn and Lodi and her um, signature colorway for this show is back on track and Lodi her um, last year's was derailed which go to the shop she'll explain everything and this is a colorway that will complement Derail by Ancient Arts and the two of them together are really nice. So I bought the fingering in hopes of making a very lovely pair of socks. Might need to go and buy a second skein in order to finish my <laughs> socks. Seriously. So now doesn't she have um, like three so, so, sort of local dyers that are doing her. Yeah, she has like three shops. Where's she going? Because I think there's a destination, yeah. ancient arts, and then another one, and I don't remember who it was. Mm -hmm. But I think that there were three different yeah. dyers that were doing ex, um, shop exclusives yeah. for her. But she has the, a very interesting story about the rails thing. Yeah, so yeah, ask you, her should about that. Yes. you should ask her. Yeah, yeah. 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 we won't tell it. Yeah, but I, th I think that's all for right now. I mean, I did. Oh, I should have brought Dave's sweater. I finished Dave's oh, yeah, sweater. Yeah, yeah. I, next yeah, time. Next time, but yeah. I think that's it for now. Yeah. Cool. One thing I can do is acquire. I don't seem to be able to finish projects. <laughs> I, I have friends that finish projects. And we, My, and we live, you know, what do you call it? Vicariously? Vicariously for your acquisitions. Oh, too. there you go. Yes. And my roommate does the diamond art paintings and she finishes projects. Like, I'm surrounded by people who finish projects. What the heck? You're consistent. I just acquire. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a problem. One of the things that we acquired is our um, es escarpment yarn. I don't know if we so all I brought them. Mine. Oh, mine looks just like yours, so. Yeah. Oh, and I'm changing, like so hers. I haven't shown. No. This one? Okay. Uh, mm, no, you're right. Looks like that Okay. One. So this is from the Blue Brick, and it's beautiful. It's the escarpment DK gradient it um, there was a pattern that 
right here oh, was okay. with it. And we had, had intended to do this as our um, new, um, new Year's cast on. Is it our New Year's cast on or were we going to do it in Christmas the fall? Christmas cast on. Christmas, Christmas cast. cast on. Okay, but we didn't get the yarn in time and that's a whole huge story which um, is on Blue Brick's um, webpage and everything. She just was had a massive project, um, pattern that sold an incredible amount of yarn and she just had a hard time keeping up with everything. So by the time we got this, we're going to, do we really still want to do that? I don't know if we want to do that. And I was so searching through patterns for an, some other yarn that I got. And last year, or no, 2018? Yes. At when we did the um, yarn tour, we went to Bare Naked Wools. And the shop pattern was this fall between the branches. And Anne doesn't usually do a whole lot of color in her Hence patterns. Bare naked. Right. Hence it's bare naked. naked. So this first year she added some color to this and was working with a dyer. But in the pattern suggestions, under the yarn suggestions, one of the thing for the contrast color was the escarpment DK gradient. And I thought, oh, maybe I will do that instead once I choose a contrast color or a main color to that's a solid to go with this lovely skein of yarn. And I drink the juice, so I'm going to be removing wait, my needles. So what I'm thinking <laughs> is I might do like a peach mm, mm, yeah. with this. I'm going to stick with doing the is escarpment. Yeah. Because that's what I bought it for. So. There you go. But I've always looked at that pattern. Yeah. And I've always looked at it and yeah. thought, hmm. <laughs> and it was beautiful in her shop. I mean, it was just it was, gorgeous. Yes. So it was one of those that I've been wanting to do, but. So I have the same quite sure. So I don't know. Maybe an oatmeal color. Something to Ooh. lighten it up. You're all going to do that? I am. I'm going to do something like that. I'm not going to do it as big a piece as that. I'm not. Well, it comes in three sizes. Yeah, well, that's You've right. seen it the does. size of socks I make? I can make that. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, th this is also the only thing I bought because I'm trying to stash bus. Mm -hmm. But I think I'm, I'm going to stick with this because I really, really wanted it because it's completely connected. So it's right. circular and you just pull it over your head and I'm like, mm -hmm. that's, that work would be great. And you know, when I think back to the beginning of 2020 before everything changed and a lot of people were doing their new New Year's resolution that 2020 was going to be the year to stash, stash bus. Right. I mean, there was even some really nice like written out like, here's what you'll use, you know, here's how much you should set aside for purchases. And I'm like, wow, I don't think I could do that. Yeah. Well, I've basically done that. Right. Very well, yeah. yeah. So, but. Crystal's not done. Well, that. she's I'm not, not kidding done that. when she said she. I acquire. Bought stuff. I acquire. So I belong to a yarn club that is um, Aaron Lane and Destination Yarn. The Aaron Lane bags? The Aaron Lane bags. Okay. And then Destination Yarn. So it's Destination they Lane. They collaborate. It's Destination Lane. So one month I get a skein of yarn, the next month I get a bag. And they coordinate amazingly well. Like this was the past two months. Those are gorgeous. And gorgeous, gorgeous. Inside there is the pink that coordinates with the flamingo bag. And each one is a destination, which hence the destination yarns. So I've gotten several of those now. So the pink's in there. The pink is in there. That's really nice. So is that like a hand, like a Yeti hand? <laughs> it almost looks like, yeah, I think. Yeah. Oh, in the, the, what's the destination on that yarn? Atacama Desert. Atacama. So if you look up Atacama Desert, there's a um, statue of a hand coming out oh. of the oh, oh, sand. I see. And there's sense. a sister place that's um, like frozen where it's an, also one coming. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh, Those go so well together. Don't they? It's just, I guess, I whatever you make, you have to wear the bag at the same time. Right, <laughs> so. yeah. And they're beautiful bags. I just love them. They are nice. You get a little 
hook here. They're to... beautifully made. They've gotten, and they're square like boxy on the bottom. Yeah. There's another one. I mean. And they all have that little cheap guy. Yes. Very nice. And if there's one more, and it's a smaller one, I don't know where I put it. But that sounds like a really but yes, nice club to have done. And you can, I mean, you can do it differently. You can either get just yarn or just bags. You can get um, like two skeins of yarn, and then the, with the bags, is there's the regular club membership, and then another one that maybe is a little bigger or a little fancy or whatever. Um, so it's a really nice club. It's not that bad. It's thirty five dollars a month. Nice. That's it. That's it. Yeah. The cost of a skein of yarn. It's right? cost of a skein of yarn, yeah. Cost, so, cost of the bag. And the yeah. bag, or the bag, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, it's really, and each month they send you emails that tell you about the destination and um, some um, pattern suggestions, suggestions and just a lot of, of neat stuff. Nice. And then I did go on vacation this year, <laughs> and so I had to get, you know, souvenir yarn. So I went, we went to, um, this, this was in, Cor no, I didn't go to Corpus. Uh, I went to Corpus, but we didn't go to a yarn shop. San Antonio and Fort Worth at area. And so I got the, the shop exclusive colors. This one was. This is all from one shop? Turtle. No, this was, these two were from um, Unraveled in San Antonio. That's a great name. Yes. And this one is, um. It says a lamb shop, and it's it's on the lamb. On the lamb, yes. And this was outside of Fort Worth. Those two go so nicely together. And the the two from Fort Worth are local Fort Worth dyers. I think one of them has moved out of the area, and this one was a local um, San Antonio dyer. Oh, look at what the purple this? in there. Wasn't expecting. Yeah. Hank me home tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and then when we did our own little retreat back in June, I got this. She was not kidding when she said she bought stuff. I was not kidding. I buy. That's what I do. So I acquire. Those are nice. And I think I'm gonna put those two together in a in a shawl. I think I'm gonna DK? redo the um, sport sport. I'm gonna redo the. Um, country the the one that you and I did with the oh, four colors the mm -hmm. oh here it is unicorn county yeah Howell. unicorn county county shawl with Christy glass yes and 144 yes. stitches yes I feel like the asylum fiber it all yes it yeah did. it did it did yeah so I'm gonna instead of using four colors I'm gonna alternate the two colors I don't think I've seen this and this is what I was when I was looking through shawls, that's when I found that the Bare Naked Wools um, suggested the escarpment. Mm -hmm. Nice. I think that's that's how it was nice. Yes. It's nice. It it's was an easy fun, pattern. Easy, it's fun. It went quickly. Knit. Yeah. These skeins are a little short on yardage, but it doesn't really matter. Right, because you could make that as long or as short, really, right. as you wanted. I had thought if I got a third color, at which I was looking to see if I could get the blue at the same type of yarn. But I'm having a hard time finding this yarn. So I think I'll just stick with this. It'll be easier. And so this is what I'm going to do next after I finish my. Can cool. I see your escarpment? Yeah. Yes. No, the, the no. yarn. Sorry. Oh, this? Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. Yeah. A little too much going on. There. <laughs> what do you got going on over here, this big pile? Uh, I've already done my, my new yak. Yes. Yakety yak. That's it. Don't talk about it. Oh, these are things I used. Okay, so this the is the bamboo pop. pop you talked yeah. about. And the alpine for the yeah. river's jacket. Yeah, mm -hmm. this was the little furry stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. And. And you? Just the blue brick and oh. Lane magazine. Nice. I want to see that later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all I got. This one's from summer of 2018. I got this from, what is it, Knitting Temptations? It went out of business when we oh, went to Ohio. Uh, to are, the, these, are they Columbus? still in business or are they, are they done now? They Do we know? should be done. They were going to okay. finish by the end of August, I believe. Okay. But I may be wrong. Yeah, so I picked this up. Oh, and I did get a new book, a new knitting pattern book from Joann's. 
the Harry Potter knitting book. Oh! Because <laughs> we saw that when we went to uh -huh. one of the shops in the shop hop thing that we did, and I I didn't get it, and I happened to see it at Joanne's, and I'm like, I, I suffered and came out with, you know, my mask, and I'm, I'm just going to buy it. I know it's just going to sit on the shelf, and I probably won't make anything from it. Though I do want to do the Harry Potter sweater. Okay. Put, you know, D for me on there, but who knows if I'll ever get to that. But, uh, yeah, that's all I got. Okay. Cool. I that's think we it. showed a lot. I think yeah. we did. Yeah. Because we want to get back to our knitting. Oh, yeah. yes. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, and that's yarn bowl. Oh, no, I just found it on the counter, and I needed Ooh. something. Oh, oh but it was, like, perfect. Wait, look. Yeah. <laughs> it was sitting. I'm like, this is going to roll all over the place while look I'm knitting. Look how perfect so I just this is. Look how. Counter. <laughs> so, look, this bed and breakfast, well, not bed and breakfast, this guest house, guest house offers yarn bowls. <laughs> <gasps> World Market. We there can all go. get one. There we go. Move over, Jen's making another <laughs> pair of socks. <laughs> and with that, <laughs> with that, I give you a fond a farewell. Yes, I, I do think until it's next time, time to open the wine and go sit yeah, in the chair. Yeah, it's after lunch. Well, yep. lunchtime. Yeah. 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 So till next time. Bye. bye.